this is a good one. Uh, but before I get to that, there's two things I want to cover. One, the reason we don't shoot a lot of these deer and we have to stab them is I've got two or three or four of my best friends running around baying this deer. I'm not going to shoot a bullet up amongst them. These are, they're like my kids. Uh, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be firing down on a deer with my, with my little pups running around baying or catching it. All right. Two. Them poor deer, that them dogs is biting that poor deer, that poor deer. They're doing him a favor. I, before this, before the track video kicks in, I'm gonna throw in a video. Actually, I'm gonna throw it in right here. I want you to watch this video right here. All right, this is a deer shot three hours before we got there. Front leg blew off. The hunter knew it was blew off. Knew he made a bad shot when he done it. Called me. We got over as quick as we can. We got the deer. Well, when we got to the deer, the dogs was acting weird. I couldn't figure it out. So I went in there to check to make sure. Sure enough, they found it. The coyotes had already caught this deer and killed him. It was three hours after the shot. And these coyotes literally chewed on this deer's hindquarter until they got up into his intestines and pulled enough to kill him. All right? That's what we're preventing by these dogs doing this, okay? Now, I'm going to play that video right here for you. It's right here. Move, Connor. It's right here's one of them leg shot deer where we cover all the time. Y'all say, what a live. See that leg blowed up facing him. Come out right there. See that shoulder blowed off and broke? Yeah. Well, the coats has done killed him before we could get in here. So y'all keep telling me that them blowed off legs is gonna live and I'll keep catching them and keep the coats from doing that right there too. All right, there was that, okay? that That's what we're preventing. That's what I see, and I, I, I was hoping I would get on one of them tracks pretty quick before these videos got to go, and everybody's like, yada, da 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 coyotes can't catch, yada, yada, yada. Okay, bull crap, I do this every day, all right? Listen to the guy that turns the track dogs loose every day. I have found so many deer that the coyotes had already caught and killed that it's crazy. So they're they're, you know, I wish I'd have my GoPro. It was dead. When it gets right down to it, the cameras come last. I want these deer. I want to recover these deer. I want to make people's day. We have found several deer since the last video. Uh, the night we found that deer, we actually found another deer. So, you know, that's what we're doing. But now let's get to this track. This track's pretty cool. This guy, can't remember his name right off. Hey, dude, come here. This guy called me and said, uh, hey, man. Patrick John, Patrick, give me your number. Patrick's an Alabama guy. He got an amazing track dog, really good dog. Uh, they find a lot of dead deer. He, it's one of his, the guy that his dog actually come from. He said, I got a buddy that shot a big double drop tine deer and uh, he's put his track dog on it. He said, they keep jumping the deer. He said, the deer ain't went over 400 yards. Said he's just running a big circle. He's really hurt. And he was wondering if you could come help him recover his deer. I said, yeah, you know, I'll be there in a little while. I actually, that day, I had a, a little girl had shot one, and we went by there, shot at one, and uh, they dog said it was a clean mess. We never found any sign, any gut matter, anything like that, so we chalked it up as a mess. Uh, then my cousin had shot at one, and we went by there to check for him, and we went by turn the dogs loose same thing they made circles hunted real hard said there wasn't nothing there said okay well that we've done we've done what we can do so then we go here and we find this deer and then we actually ended up going and finding another deer for a guy went two for four on the day it was a pretty good day but this track he called me. If we get there and you know, we kind of get the gist of things and he's got permission to go on to the landowner next to him and the deer had actually went over onto the landowner when he stopped tracking. He said, I've jumped him three or four times. He'd been shot the day before. Said, I've jumped him three or four times right here in this little bitty area. And I just, one dog, we just, we just can't get him. We just can't get him. He said, he's hurt really bad. He can barely, he's off on his front end. And uh, I said, all right, well, we'll, uh, we'll be there in a little bit. We go down to the road. I ain't never seen blood like this. This deer has run down a road. Go on, pups. 
has run down a road, literally blood just blowing. I don't understand how the deer's bleeding this bad. Like I'm like, this ain't right. But we turn the dogs loose and they start working. Well, we, we kind of know where the deer headed. So we belt off in the bottom. And what happened was, as we were going down through there, one of the dogs winded it. Actually, his dog winded it and jumped the deer. So I holler at Duke and all my all the dogs, and I'm like, come on, Duke don't want to, the only time I call Duke off the track is if I tone him. If I tone him, he'll come to me. I don't care if he's two miles away. When I hit that beat button, he comes to my feet. All my dogs do. Well, I tone him. He comes running, Colonel comes running, Batman's there. They all get there about the same time. I get them on the creek, and right there's where the video's gonna start. I shook these dogs across this creek, and they lit out. Went and caught this man's deer. Was able to save us deer. Beautiful double drop time deer. Uh, just really glad how the dogs work and was able to keep that deer from going to waste. Old warrior, his one eyed, uh, had been shot in no man's land the year before by the neighbor. Put dog on him. They put dogs on him. He just wasn't mortally wounded. Uh, just just a cool story all the way around, but. I'm gonna play the video right here for y'all and y'all can be the judge.
me, boys. Good dog. Five minutes. When they would put them on him, it was five minutes. Well, there was that one. Uh, that one was pretty cool to me. Uh, the way the deer, the deer used that field. He kept, he crossed the creeks trying to lose the dogs. He had run down the edge of that field and then that drainage ditch, he had run down right there. That deer knew where he was going to. He knew where he was going to make his play and that was it. Uh, dogs made quick work. They caught him. As soon as, as soon as, as soon as we come around the bend, they just started baying. They got him. I was able to get down the creek right there. We got the deer. We got the deer finished off quick. I mean, really and honestly, the, instead of 30 minutes of coach playing with him, it took probably two. <laughs> I mean, all together, once the dogs got there, and for me to get down the creek, I don't really know the exact time. Maybe actually less than that, because they wasn't baying 30 seconds. It feels like when I come around the creek and belt off in there and went to them but that's a that was a good track i just want to show everybody that track that's a that's a good solid track that was a good deer that we kept them going to waste uh over the next few days deer season's about over these videos are about to play out uh next year we're gonna start off in bow season uh we're gonna we're gonna try to film every track next year i'm gonna try to get some more gopros some better gopros and be able to do more of this but that's my goal next year is to be able to film every track we go on uh i'm gonna have to have i'm gonna have to get me some batteries and some more chargers and probably two more gopros because they don't last long on the back of that red dog that's actually why one video the other day i didn't get to post he uh he demolished one uh but we uh we're glad y'all enjoy these videos. Glad you watch these videos. I hope we'll help you better understand these videos and what we're doing. We're not out here dog hunting. We're out here tracking wounded deer. Uh, you can turn these dogs loose in the green field with 20 does. They won't run them. You shoot one of them does in the hind quarter and they'll run her. They'll run her. Uh, that's just, that's how they're trained. That's what they do. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Hopefully we get one or two more tracks in this year. But if we don't, We'll get started early next year and try to get y'all a bunch of videos.